Hello boys and girls! In today's video, we'll be speaking about mass. Do you know what mass means? When we speak about mass, we speak about the weight of an object. That is, how heavy or light something is. Let's start by looking at this slide. What can we see over here? We see two pen balances. Have you ever seen a pen balance? Do you know how it works and what it's used for? Well, as you can see from the picture, a pen balance would have two pens that are exactly the same, one on either side. It is used to weigh objects. So, when we place something on one side or both sides, one pen would go down and the other side would go up. That would mean that the side that went down is heavier than the side that went up. Does this action remind you of anything? It reminds me of when I used to play on the seesaw at the playground, right? So, let's read what our task is all about. It says, fill in the stem sentences. So, we must see what information we can get by observing these pen balances and then complete the sentence below. Our first sentence reads The mm is heavier than the mm. I notice the word heavier. So here we are comparing the weight of two objects. Hmm. I wonder which pen balance can help me fill in this sentence. Do you remember what happens when something is heavier than another? Before, we said that when we weigh two objects using a pen balance, the heavier would go down. Do you agree? So, that means that I must focus on the pen balance that is showing me one pen going down and the other one going up. So, the pen balance that is showing us that is this first one. What toys do we have here? We have a plane and a top. What do we notice? The pen holding the plane went down, whereas the pen with the top went up. So, which one is heavier, the plane or the top? Since the plane went down, we can say that the plane is heavier than the top. Right. Now, let's move on to the next stem sentence. It reads, the mm is equal to the mm. Children, here we are seeing the phrase equal to. Do you know what equal to means? Let me remind you. Equal to means the same. So, if we have two objects that have the same weight, how do you think that would look on a pen balance? Pause the video and observe the pen balances that we have here. Which one do you think I should look at this time? How can you tell that their weight is equal? And once you thought it through, We'll discuss it together. Right, let's continue. We have to see which toys could have equal weight. Now, I was focusing on the second pen balance and noticed that just like the first one, this pen balance has a toy on each side. A doll and a teddy this time. But none of the pens went up or down. Is something wrong with this pen balance? Could it be broken? No, children. When both pens remain in line, it means that the weight on one side is the same as the weight on the other side. So the pens balance out. That is also why it is called a pen balance. So here we can say that the doll is equal to the teddy bear. Right, so let's move on to the last stem sentence in this activity. 
Now here it is telling us the N mm is lighter than the N. Mm. Here we are seeing the word lighter. Do you know what lighter means? So far we used heavier and equal to, correct? So which toy would be lighter than another? Children, pause the video again and see if you can figure this out. Okay, let me tell you how I reasoned it out. We know that the doll and the teddy are equal in weight, right? So, those two toys are out of the picture. Now, from the first term sentence, we know that the plane is heavier than the top. So, that means that the top must be lighter than the plane, correct? We know that because we can see that the pen holding the top went up. And we also know that heavier and lighter are opposites. So, we can fill in the top is lighter than the plane. Perfect. And children, with that stem sentence, we have arrived to the end of today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have a pen balance at home, perhaps even a toy one, why don't you try and compare the weight of a few of your own toys? See you next time. Bye.